Hello, and welcome back to Breadbox Racing in 4x4. Today, we are building a Speedduino. We got our Speedduino board here. We've got our Arduino board here. We have our VR conditioner, and we have our map sensor. And all of these components are going to get soldered to this board. Hopefully, I don't mess things up. So, without further ado, let's get started. If you're looking to build one of these kits yourself, this is actually pretty straightforward. You get all your little bags of resistors and diodes and whatnot. They all correspond with your numbers. And all your numbers are printed on the board around here. The hardest part about this so far is finding, well, finding all the spots. Because there's a lot of numbers here. And then if you do decide to build one of these yourself, all of these little resistors, they do not have a polarity. They can go either side. Capacitors and diodes, on the other hand, do. For the diode side of things, all diodes have a little white stripe on them. That's the negative side. LEDs, or light emitting diodes, also have polarity. So you have to make sure that those go the right way. Most LEDs will have a flat spot on them if these are used LEDs. That will always indicate a negative. If not, new LEDs will have a short leg and a long leg. The short leg is the negative. Okay, officially got all of the resistors put in. Now we got to work on doing the cup diodes. And then we can work on capacitors. The diodes are the most important thing to get right. Because they only let electricity flow one way. Capacitors are also very important to install. Positive to positive, negative to negative. On this board, you'll see how some of these... Where's my pencil? Some of these pads are square and some are round. The square on my board, which is version 0.4.3D, the square is negative. The circles are all positive. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, this is all pretty straightforward. It shows you where to put your capacitors and labels capacitors C. It shows you where to put all your rectifiers. This right here is your, that's the part number for it. That would be the uh, map sensor. Get soldered straight to the board. You got your injectors, your resistors, and you got lots of spots to put all your headers in to connect to various things. So yeah, so far this is pretty straightforward and going really well. Fingers crossed, nothing melts. So here I am editing this video. And I just realized the last little bit of me building this board, probably the last three hours, uh, someone who has a very smooth brain hit photo mode on the camera instead of time lapse. So I apologize. Well, it's 1.30 in the morning. It's 
Speedduino is all done now. Would have been done a lot sooner if I wouldn't have gotten distracted by a Subaru, but I did, so. At least this is all done now. I think there's a couple finishing touches I have to do. Then programming. And then... That's about it. So yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Everything's labeled. It's just a ton of soldering. And looking for little components and where the names of things are. and It is very time consuming, but it's honestly not that hard to do. So, if you guys ever want to take a whack at it, it's really not that bad, as long as you're confident with soldering. But, other than that, thank you for watching. Stay tuned when we start putting this in the car and finishing the turbo build.